morning guys welcome to another day of exploring Christ Church this morning we're heading out to New Brighton Beach Pier to check out the sunrise and it's Donovan's birthday today and this is what he wanted to do so we're gonna go check out a sunrise but we're cutting it close so we got to get there quick we can see the Sun coming up in the distance and the sky starting to get a little bit pink so we think it might be a nice sunrise fingers crossed that it turns out that way it's pretty cloudy too and then after that we're gonna do some exploring so thanks for joining and let's get the day on the go Made it here just in time. The sky is just starting to look so beautiful and pink and orange. And this is a really beautiful beach. It's actually a lot bigger and a lot longer than I was picturing. Really close to Christchurch City Center. I can imagine this being so packed in the summer. Wow, this is so beautiful. Seeing the sun come up over the ocean, seeing the Kaikoura Range to the west and just all these beautiful clouds catching the light. We just drove up the street a little bit to come and walk down the pier. It looks like there's some shops and restaurants just across from the pier as well. Definitely a hot spot in the summer, I would say. Walking down the pier now and on the other side of the pier on the west or the left hand side I guess you could say north side <laughs> on the other side of the pier that we were not taking photographs on this morning there's like a massive playground what looks like a huge washroom facility and changing facility and everything so they're pretty well set up here I think Christchurch is really underappreciated you still get these amazing beaches and you're so close to the mountains here I just love it so much. Some of the waves down here are massive. You just hear them crashing. And walking out onto this pier, you're kind of above them, so it's really cool, actually. It looks like you can fish down here as well if you wanted to. Some big seagulls. Hey, buddy. back from the pier an amazing sunrise this morning we're gonna pop into town and hit up grizzly bakery grab some treats and then move on to the next spot let's go we made it downtown and we just paid for parking it was four dollars sixty cents for an hour it's pretty expensive but it is like the weekday That was just a delicious but expensive little breakfast. We spent 40 bucks for a couple of coffees, teas, and some bagels. But they were really, really good. We don't have too much time before Donovan has to pop into his new work, so we're just checking out some street art. exploring the Avon River precinct which is also called Te Papa Otakaro. I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that one I've just read it on this board so that's my best shot but we're wandering around this really nice green area with tons of new buildings and then we're gonna wander around in the Riverside Market area in downtown we're walking to the Christchurch tram to hop on that do a little scenic tour of the downtown area it's cool, there are tons of buildings under construction, of course, since the earthquake in 2011. Lots of new, beautiful, modern buildings. 
but it still has so much character. And I just love the street art. able to jump on the tram they've just been flying by us and a bunch of them are not in service right now so we've been walking around and we're gonna go check out craft embassy which is a craft beer bar that's been recommended to us by a few people and we're just thirsty so let's go that is. It's a little bit loud over here. They're doing some construction, but Craft Embassy was awesome. They had a full tap takeover really recently from Waitoa Brewing, which is in Wellington. We're hoping we can check them out next time we're there, but I had a tropical sour. Donovan had a pina colada pale ale, and it was so good. I am always blown away by how good the craft beer is in New Zealand. It's just top notch, top shelf, like 10 out of 10. Never get sick of trying it. On to the next spot. So we popped over to the Christchurch Cathedral, the famous, beautiful cathedral that's right in the downtown area. It was pretty devastated in 2011 with the earthquake. So they're doing this huge renovation and rebuilding project. And we were here probably two or three months ago and they've done quite a bit since then. It's looking like it's coming along. Like you can see parts of the roof and parts of like the side of the building as well. beautiful building that we just walked around is a convention center, the Christchurch Convention Center called Tepei or Tepai. And now we're just kind of wandering around aimlessly. So there's a lot of cool stuff down here though when you're walking along the river path. A lot of beautiful old buildings that are being reconstructed. A lot of nice green spaces. It's a really beautiful city. <laughs> Parking time is almost expired, so we're heading back to the car. We're gonna go home for a bit, recoup, charge some batteries and stuff, and then we're gonna come back out and explore a little bit more. So we'll see you guys later. So we've been at home for a little bit and we've just been chatting with some friends back home in Calgary, which was amazing. It was so much fun to just relax and catch up for a little bit. And now we're heading over to the Christchurch Lookout, which is just a few minutes down the road to catch the sunset. And that'll pretty much be it for the day. Let's pop over there and check it out. Thanks for joining me for this exploration of Christchurch. I hope I've given you some really cool spots to check out when you come visit. See you guys in the next one.